Hey guys, Justine from yourdino.com here. I have a couple of new cool things to show you today. And the first one is a new plugin, and this is Math Channels. So Math Channels can be quite useful, where you can ch create new channels from mathematical uh, uh, expressions of other channels. So I'll show you how it works. So uh, let's say, for example, you want to have a channel that shows slip Okay, uh, we are all interested in slip, right? Of course, you need an, uh, a measurement of the engine RPM. Let's say you have OBD2 connected, for example. Okay, if you click on this uh, equation uh, place here, then a helper window comes up. So you can construct your, uh, your equation here. So let's find the scan tool, that's OBD2, OBD2 uh, RPM here. So that's that channel. We want this one minus the engine RPM that we get from the roller, which is this one. Okay, so this will be your slip. You click OK, and now it's going to parse the equation to see that it's correct. So it just takes a few seconds, and uh, then you click OK. So now that's all it took. Now you have here a new channel called slip. And also, if you um, go here, you can see that you have uh, that you have a, a, a gauge that is called slip here so you can turn it on you would want that to be digital probably okay let's do another couple of examples so you could say let's say you have two breaks for example and you want the difference between the two breaks you typically want them to follow each other uh, ah, normally at least, uh, that's the break one, minus break two, uh, here we go, and that's going to be in percent. Okay, you get the drift. Of course, you could do similar things with RPM, if you have two RPM sensors, RPM one minus RPM two, for example. Okay, let's do something a bit more complicated. Let's say you want to only show positive power numbers right so when you do a retardation the power will be negative but let's say for some reason you don't want to show that you want to show zero instead so we can do that uh, we call that power pos for example uh, now is a trick because here you can uh, put in an if then else uh, um, statement so here we have wheel power so I'll show you how that works. So if wheel power is larger than zero, and then you will return wheel power. Otherwise, you return zero. So for those of you who are programmers, you will recognize this way of, of writing an if-then-else sentence. If you are not a programmer, it may look a bit magical, but it's not really difficult. It's just the test here. If wheel power is larger than zero, then the question mark, and then comes the true value. So if it is larger than zero, then you return wheel power. If it is not larger than zero, then you return zero. And here you can have nested ifs, if you will, and you can really go crazy here if, if you like. Okay, that's good. So the unit will be HP, if you have HP as your power unit. Okay, another one which may be uh, cool to take a look at. Uh, let's say you want to show the maximum RPM out of RPM 1 and RPM 2. Uh, can you do that? Well, yes. Uh, here you can actually use a library, which is uh, called, it's a called math library. So the equation would then be max, no, sorry, math, that's the library name, dot the function, which is called max. And now you can choose, uh, for example, then RPM1, comma, and you can just spell it, right? You don't need to select if you know the name of the channel. RPM2, this one will now show at all times the maximum of those two. Maybe not super useful, but uh, it could be useful uh, uh, if you have uh, something complicated. I'll show you the different functions that you can, uh, that you can use. 
here you see the math class. So this, this library is available to us. You just search for a Microsoft math class and you, you get this. You can see here all the different uh, functions. Uh, you have absolute value, you have uh, sine, cosine, uh, yeah, exponentials, logarithmics, min, max, uh, truncate, uh, square root, uh, etc. So uh, it's all available and you, you use it just like this math dot and then the function that you want to um, to use. Okay, maybe just one more. Uh, a few of you have asked me if I can uh, support tractive effort or tractive force. And now you can just uh, make it yourself. I'll show you how to do that. So some of you will know what tractive force is, maybe not all of you. So this is the, the force uh, that will push your car forward, right? So um, that is the uh, wheel torque times we need uh, the torque at the rollers here so that will be wheel torque times gear ratio now we have the gear the, the torque at the rollers and we want to so this is in newton meters then typically if you use uh, metric units uh, we need them to divide by the uh, roller radius so let's say that is uh, uh, 0 0.16, so 16 centimeters, for example. Of course, this depends on your setup here. This will be the tractive effort. And that will be, in my case at least, in Newtons. Pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Now you click uh, OK, and then you have now you have all the new channels uh, here. You will, of course, have them all as well here, right? In... Uh, can turn on the tractive force, RPM max, yeah, they all turn on like that. I like them, uh, like to use digital. Tractive force, of course, is a little bit, uh, is following the, the torque, obviously. So um, it's alive, even though I'm, I don't have a car hooked up here. Okay, um, that's that. Very, very cool. A lot of uh, opportunities with the math plugin. Okay, another thing I wanted to show you is a small thing really, but quite a lot of you have asked me about it. So I'll show you. For that feature, we need to open a file with a lot of runs. So here I have one with, I think it is uh, 18 different runs. Okay, so let's do that. And uh, some of you run uh, files with uh, 50 runs, right? And uh, the thing you don't want to do there is to click on all of them to disable them if you don't want to see them so now you have this new little button here boom all of them are gone and you can turn on the ones you'd like to take a look at right um very practical uh small thing but uh, very practical and look how snappy it is right click and boom then you have 18 runs back in a fraction of a second okay guys i hope you like it